Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to answer one very simple question, and that is, how do I get support for problems I have on Discord that can't be solved via a tutorial like the ones here on this channel? And the simple answer is, you just go to the website, go to the support section, and submit a request ticket to get some help. So when you go to the website, you'll look up here at the top menu. This is discordapp.com, the official website. And here under the support tab, they've got four different sections. The one you primarily want to look at is the help and support section. Here they have a large frequently asked questions knowledge base that'll answer questions about common issues that people have from the announcement section to the server setup to Nitro. But if you don't find any usable answers on here, because frankly, a lot of the stuff that I have tutorials on isn't really covered here, at least not in very good detail. You can log in at the top of the screen. I've got my Larry Chupacabra account right up here. And then you can click on submit a request. And this is where you submit a support ticket to try to get some help. And you can say, I need some help with help and support. Or maybe you have a billing issue that you need someone to sort out with your Nitro account. Or you have someone harassing you and you need to do a trust and safety ticket. All of those can be handled here. And then we can say we're having a technical issue. I can't seem to reliably connect to servers to voice chat all of a sudden. And then we describe what our problem is here, double checking that the related articles don't cover our problem because they do kind of want you to look at those because it'll be a lot faster. Discord's got millions of users, so it can take them a little while to get back to you. You can describe what the problem is, you can tell them what program or what platform your Discord is running on, which will help them troubleshoot the issue. And if you have any screenshots of the problem itself, you can attach those here and then click submit and they should get back to you. I'm not really sure how long, but last time I had to contact them, they got back to me within three days. Uh, so far, I haven't had to contact them again with anything else, but I would say the standard, you know, business week to get back to you wouldn't be outside of the question. Now, the other areas that they've got are the Discord status section. This is the website that you would go to to see if there's any connection problems with Discord. Sometimes Discord's servers get attacked by uh, nasty entities who take down the servers. And if you want to see if it's just you having a connection problem or if Discord is messed up for everyone, this is where you would go to get a running look at what's going on. They'd have like the current uptime up here in these little graphs. And then down here, they'd have any incident notifications to tell you that something is going on with their servers. For moms and dads out there who might be interested in what Discord is and what their children are doing on it, and I kind of have to put this in here because you'd rather have Discord tell your parents about what this program is than some really weird article on Newsweek. Discord just lays out the fact that this is a chat application where people who get invited to a server to hang out with their friends or people they know can chat, post funny pictures, and have a good time gaming together. That's really what it is at its core. And it's really up to everyone to try and police the nastier stuff on Discord so that it doesn't bother the rest of the overall community. So if you're a parent and you need some information about what Discord is and what your kids might be doing on it, this is a no-nonsense, no, like, weird nightmares and demons explanation of exactly what it is and, uh, what all the safety features are on there to make sure your kids stay safe when they're using the platform. And then, if you're a developer and you're interested in getting some money for helping to find some bugs on the platform, some security uh, issues, under their security tab, they have information about their bug bounty. And if you're not familiar with <coughs> bug bounties, those are basically, you find a security issue that you can replicate that can potentially, uh, you know, compromise the integrity of this platform. You can submit that information to Discord and they will pay you for it. That's basically what it is. And they've got all the rules and all the things here that you'd need in order to submit a vulnerability and potentially get paid. And that's really all you need to know about Discord and all of its support that you can get from their website. If it's something that you can't get help from somebody like myself, which there's plenty of problems that I can't help you with, and I do not count as official Discord support, then you can go to the website and find all of that information there under the support tab, help and support. 
So I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.